Is CVT better than PowerShift? There's a choice to be made, PowerShift or continuously variable transmission. Just what sort of transmission do you want your powerhouse new tractor to possess? Technology PowerShift The simpler of the two, but becoming more complex. Generally a PowerShift involves a conventional gearbox with several clutch packs to allow the change between gears. It usually cycles through several different clutch packs to achieve gear ratios. Today, new PowerShifts rely heavily on computer control to make the operator's task more comfortable, reliable and easy. CVT There are usually only one or two clutch packs with a planetary gear system controlled by a small hydrostatic unit, with a ring gear on the outside, a sun gear in the middle and three or four planet gears that revolve around the sun gear. Working together, this creates a seamless operation. A driver can choose the exact speed for the job, while a PowerShift driver must operate within speed ranges. Ease of use PowerShift Today's PowerShift tractors can go through all gears with the push of a button or via automatic settings, so there is now minimal downside. While a PowerShift might suit three or four applications quite well, it can seem a compromise in others once you know what else is out there. CVT. Gear ratios are taken care of automatically. Your input as driver is simply telling the tractor you want to go faster or slower. The tractor decides what internal transmission ratio and engine RPM are needed to achieve the required ground speed. It will do this with the least amount of engine RPM it can. Cost PowerShift. Usually cheaper, but not always. PowerShift tractors usually come in two variants, sophisticated and less sophisticated, with appropriate price tags. Likewise, some manufacturers are more price aggressive than others, so it always pays to compare specs and reviews. Users often argue, with some justification, that if you just need a heavy horsepower tractor to pull a plow around all day, you might as well save $5,000 and buy a PowerShift. CVT. CVTs generally cost way more than PowerShift models, sometimes because they are sold as part of a premium package. Compared to PowerShifts, one expert describes today's flash CVT tractors as being the difference between a tricked-up ute with fancy panels and six-speed transmission to a knockabout farm ute with uncomfortable seating. They are worlds apart in looks and comfort but both get the job done. Maintenance PowerShift Comparable in maintenance needs to CVTs. The difference is manufacturers tend to be more lenient in allowing outside technicians to work on them. So service costs are more negotiable. The old days of pulling out a couple of spanners and getting to work on a transmission are long gone, for both. CVT Similar maintenance requirements to modern PowerShifts, although manufacturers tend to maintain control of servicing repairs because of the specialized diagnostic tools used. Most agree outside influences and treatment on farm have more to do with tractor lifespan than the transmission itself. Versatility and field PowerShift Comparable to driving a manual car as against driving an automatic. In a PowerShift, drivers perceive themselves to be more a part of the whole operation. If a load increases, such as when hitting a stubborn spot when tilling, and revs drop, you might need to change gears to maintain speed. CVT this is set and forget cruise control ideal for jobs of varying power needs and loads, such as tilling rough and uneven ground. It takes pressure off the driver to keep the tractor at the optimum ratio because engine revs are automatically changed to maintain desired speed. Economy PowerShift 
Thanks to technical advances, power shifts are continually improving in fuel efficiency, although there are many intangibles such as driver habits and varying loads and terrain that cloud performance figures. Servicing costs can be cheaper, although generally there is not a big difference. CVT. Generally more fuel efficient, some say 5-10%. In the field, it is continually adjusting itself to achieve a geared up and throttled back state, thus generally burning less fuel because it is not using so many revs. Manufacturers suggest rebuilding costs are similar for both systems.